Hey guys, are you looking on how to create drop down list in Action Center? For example, in this Action Center, you can see I have created a drop down for the city. For example, I have, I'm selecting Bengaluru and then the state, let's say I'm selecting Karnataka. So how would you design this kind of a form which will have a drop down and that would come to Action Center and from the Action Center, when you submit all the values that is being selected should go back to your workflow. So how this can be designed, we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. For that, first of all, we need to create a task. So I will take a create task form and all of those things which I have shown can be designed within this activity. Okay, so let's give it a title. Let's say I will say enter details. Okay, and then form data. Now this one is very, very important. How to design it? How do you, what are the data types you should select? Everything I'm going to talk in detail. So let's get start. Form data, let's click on these three dots. Okay, first of all, I want to have city list get created. So you should type whatever name you want to give. I'm saying city and then underscore drop down. So this underscore drop down what I have written, this is a recognized keyword. By writing this, this create task form will automatically create a drop down, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so city underscore drop down and here it should be in direction and I'm saying uh, this should be a what kind of a uh, data type it should be. Okay, so because we are dealing with, uh, we'll be writing multiple list of cities, for example, Bengaluru, Mumbai, Chennai, right? All the city names we have to write. So we'll go for a list. And there's a benefit when you, you can also design it using an array, but if you go for a list, this will automatically create fields. Okay. You don't have to manually create a drop down uh, in the form. So I'm going to show you that. So I have typed list. Let's select this. And then this is supposed to be string. Okay. And click on, okay. So what happened? I have select created a list kind of a data type and here I will create a variable control plus K city. So remember while you are designing a drop down, whatever the name you are giving before the drop down, I'm going to maintain the similar format and same spelling. So city, I'm typing city. I'm creating a similar variable enter. And then uh, once this is created, I wanted to now, once the user selects, let's say Bangalore or whatever he selects, that should again come back to your workflow. For that, I'll create another variable. Again, I'll maintain the same name, city, and then I'm going to say in, out, and the data which gets selected will be string, and that should get control plus K and create another variable here called selected city. Fine. So remember how I'm writing the variables and I'm maintaining the same format. This is important while you are designing a drop down, dynamic drop down. So ensure you do it in the same way. All right. Similar way, I want it for a state. So I will say I'll create a variable called state underscore drop down. Okay. So this is underscore drop down is a recognized keyword. So I'm going to say in and I'm going to again make it a uh, list and then I'm going to create another variable with the same name state hit on enter. Okay. And again, below this, I'm going to create state for us to take the value, whatever the user has selected to take that value. And this will be string. The data which will come is string. And I'm going to create another variable control plus K and I'll say selected state. Fine. So all the variables has been created. Let's click on okay. Got it. So remember how you are writing would matter. If you are writing different, different variables, then you will not see the drop down coming properly. So ensure whatever the name you have started city underscore drop down. I am maintaining the similar format. Okay. So that the inbuilt logic would understand that there has to be a drop down created and the city will become the field key. Okay. So remember you maintain the same format. Similarly for the state, state underscore drop down, creating a, a list of string state. And then again, I'm creating a state. So this is very, very important how you do it. Okay. So once you have done this, click on okay. All right. And then uh, let's create a task object, control plus K and task object. So you will see 
when I have created all these four variables city which is a list state again which is a list so let's provide some value to all of it so city let's initialize this by writing new list of strings right and then I want to take the value from in double quote I'm going to write all the city name one by one so we'll start with let's say Bengaluru comma then let's write Chennai comma let's write another city let's say Mumbai okay done so once you are done with this similar way we will do it for the state again we'll go to the state and write new space list in bracket of string and then I'll say from and in curly braces I'll mention the state names let's say first one is Karnataka and then Karnataka and then next is Tamil Nadu and the third one is Maharashtra okay so I have written all the state names fine so once you do this what would happen if you click now if you click on this open form designer okay so once you click on the open form designer you can see city state everything has been created so to make it little look better what I'm going to do I'll select a layout and I will select a panel and I will say enter details save and within this panel I am going to drag and drop both of this city and the state so it will appear within a box okay everything is designed now if you look at the field key of city okay drop down see automatically the drop down list component has been selected the box has been selected because the, the way we have maintained the format okay so you can see the field key city same way if you click on the state again a drop down list component is automatically selected because we maintain the format in the form data okay so it has come automatically okay so that is the benefit when I am selecting a list if you select an array uh, it may not create a drop down list so for that again you have to drag and drop a drop down list like this manually and start designing everything so we don't want that so best way is to go with the list kind of a variable so this is done you can check a preview how it is appearing looks fine to me and save it and then you can exit so our create form task is done okay after that what I want I want to see the values back so for that I'll be using a wait for form task and resume activity below this and I will enter the variable the task object variable that is created above in the same way I will create in, in the input also output also I will put the same variable and for the task action again create a variable control plus k and let's say task action is the variable okay so everything is created now after that I want to use a message box to see what is being selected by the user so message box and here I am going to write selected selected city give it a space and then you can give a hyphen and then you can say plus then I'm going to use the variable selected city so this where this variable is coming from just now we had created in the form data of create form task right if you look at it this is where we have created selected city and selected state which is a out in out kind of a variable which is bringing the data out to this variable okay so I'm using both of this similar way let's do it for a state okay so selected I will say state and then I'm going to use the selected state variable okay so everything is done if you look at everything is done so let's run it and see how the drop down is getting created okay so this is the the way I have taught you the form data how the variable I have, I have entered using the same 
uh, ward city city state, state have maintained so same way you need to maintain it otherwise you will find errors so let's go back go back to our action center go to unassigned tab and here you can see enter details as the title it has come um, and then uh, here if you look at I need to assign it to myself and then it will move automatically to pending tab so these are the pending actions for me now in the pending action if you look at I got the city let's say I'm selecting Bengaluru and let's say I'm selecting the state Karnataka okay and if I hit on submit and hit on complete what would happen the data what has been selected in the action center should flow back to our workflow and I should be able to see those output so here we will manually resume it because we are in the studio okay give it a second now you can see the message box has executed selected city is Bangalore and selected state is Karnataka now uh, so with this you will have another question Rakesh uh, if I am selecting city Bangalore it should automatically show Karnataka right so cascade automatically it should cascade to the other drop down list automatically so how that can be designed I am going to show you in the upcoming video so thank you so much guys for watching it please do share and subscribe uh, to our channel thank you so much and we are going to meet in our next video bye bye